Hey guys, this is the Sketchicator again. I uh, haven't posted a video in quite some time, so I apologize for that. But I've been busy creating a, a new website for myself uh, called SketchupAcademy.com. So check that out on the uh, on the internet there, and uh, it should have a lot of good information for you. Uh, all the videos that I've created so far are on there. A lot of images of projects I've done and uh, uh, my new book that I finally have just finished is uh, available there for the low low price of 1995 uh, it's a instant PDF download full color uh, I think you find it pretty informative it's a great reference manual but today I'd like to talk further about roofs uh, more specifically about proper roofs or building them properly. Uh, in my office we create roofs and things of that nature so they're correct and our elevations are right. Uh, and today I build a lot of uh, the exteriors, actually all the exteriors in my construction projects in SketchUp. I'll then export them to AutoCAD or, or layout for that matter and finish them up. So they need to be right. Uh, we'll look at a couple of real basic ways to build roofs, which I think are good examples of how not to do it. But uh, we'll look at them anyway, just so you can see what I'm talking about. This one I'll divide right down the middle with a line. Uh, use the Move tool and just drag this up. Stay on the blue axes. And you know, I've got a gable, and that's fine, but there's nothing very real about that. It's just the shape pentagon, I guess, if you will, that looks like a gable. We can get a little more real. We use the offset tool, so we'll pick that surface and offset that edge. Uh, let's say 24 inches. So I'll type in 24 and hit enter. I'll use push-pull, drag this up 8 inches. So that's my soffit and fascia. I'll drag this up to match and then just erase the extraneous information here. So I go a little bit more over here. Draw that same line that we just drew on the last one right down the middle. Again use the move tool, drag this up, again stay on the blue axis and you know it's a little better. I've got fascia and soffit, I've got a roof, I've got the walls, everything seems to make sense. If you want to get a little further with this use the tape measure tool to make some guidelines for this end fascia or barge board I guess it's called in some worlds and then just trace those guidelines to cut out the end fascia use push pull drag this back and align it with the wall below and you know I've got something a little more realistic that works fairly well, but I still don't know the relationship of all this stuff here. I know that the fascia and all that is, is there and the soffits there. We've got some kind of goofy stuff going on here, but I really don't know how that roof relates to those walls. So, how do we do it right, or at least my idea of right? I've drawn this little house here just as a place to work from. And to create a gable, it generally runs down the middle of the building. So, get rid of that extraneous stuff there. I use the tape measure tool again here, drag this edge over and find the middle. So that's my ridge line. And what I'd like to do is actually create a surface out here that I can draw on to create the proper roof uh, construction. So I'm just going to take it and draw out to that middle point and back down, make that surface. I'm going to reverse that face just so it's white. I don't like purple too much. Because this is a group down here, I can drag this wherever I like and you see the group doesn't change. Uh, that's kind of important here so that you're not messing things up down the road. I call it exploding the model or trashing the model, whatever you want to call it. 
but it's a common problem. This guideline can go away now. What I'm going to do is use that surface to draw the roof. I'm going to make a group out of that only because I just want to draw on top of it. I don't really want to use that as my rafter. So in order to do this, I need to create the roof pitch. Uh, so use the protractor tool, this guy over here, and just drop it on that face. So we're going to draw parallel with this face. And you can see if you move the protractor tool around, it's going to try to align or match the face that it's on. In order to keep it from doing that, once you get the orientation you want, just hold shift and it won't do that anymore. You have to hold it. I'm going to set it right on that inside corner of that wall, right there. Drag out the second point, which is called the baseline. And let go of the mouse button and just drag this around however you like. So I'm just moving the mouse. You can type in 40 here for a 40 degree angle if you like. And I went the wrong way. 30. I'm going to do that again just because that got kind of weird. Okay, type in 40 here. Okay, so that's a 40 degree angle. I don't like that still. I'm going to do that one more time. I drew that baseline out. I want to stay on axis, and I didn't do that. So I can type in 40. I got a 40 degree angle. I can type in 50, 50 degrees. It's going to keep adjusting itself. But what I like the most is I can put in a pitch. Uh, so the protractor tool gives you that option. Uh, the format is 8 colon 12 or whatever two numbers you want. They can be anything at all. The colon is saying I want a pitch. So it's 8 inch rise to 12 inch rise. I can type in 10 colon 12 here. I could type in 35 again. So you can go back and forth between angles and pitches. 9 colon 12 I'll put it. So that's the underside of my rafter. The relationship to that and the wall are correct now. With the tape measure tool, I'm going to set the top of the rafter. I'm going to drag that up and type in 10 or 8 or whatever is your rafter depth there. And I need a line here, but there is no line right now. That's just intersection of the two groups, really. With the tape measure tool, I'm going to drag it off that edge and set it right there. I need this line. So I can come out here, and, and this is making it real easy. See, so I can just drag it on that face, type in 24, and I've set the depth of the soffit. With the line tool, I'll trace from that corner. I'll go down 8 inches for the fascia depth, which is fairly common, across to this wall, and just follow along uh, these edges. That part up there I know is right because I'm centered on the... Uh, house down below. So what you can see is I've created a face. And that's my rafter. That's proper orientation and relationships with everything here. I'm going to go ahead and throw gutter on here. Come out four inches, maybe down four. And you can get as fancy as you want with this. Uh, I tend to not worry about it too much. I use the move tool here to kind of put a little uh, cant to the front of that gutter just to make it look a little more realistic. I don't worry too much about that being exactly right. At this point, I don't need that face anymore. So I'm just going to move that up. I'm going to reverse this face just because I don't like purple. And there's that proper relationship. In other words, building the roof. This is how it would actually get built in the real world. I mean, a little different than this, but that shape is correct. I want to get the other side of this. So I'm going to copy this rafter out, and I'm going to stay on axis here. And using the scale tool, I can reverse this. So I'm just going to drag this right through itself and type in minus 1, so it's the exact reflection. And then move this over to there. So now I have both sides of the roof. Just erase that extraneous piece. 
with the push pull tool I drag this out I'm going to come out another 12 inches to get my eave over there 12 inches more here now I know that my roof is properly set on that wall so the relationships here between the house and the roof you know all the parts and pieces is correct you will get this little notch and you can fix that pretty easily with the line tool if you notice that when I draw that in there that line turns pink that shows me that I'm parallel with that line push pull this over erase the extra lines and I have that all filled in that's really quick um, you can do that all the way around if I want to put the gable in here I use the tape measure tool again and draw some guidelines to match up with the uh, uh, wall down below trace this and I get my gable if I want I can add that material up here and get all that to match and I'll eliminate those guidelines so that's you know now I know I have it right everything's good I can continue to do that all the way around so that's for a gable that's remember that's our whole setup now for a hip I have the same basic box but I'm going to go back to this one so that setup is exactly the same as the one we just did for a gable but I'd like to make that a hip in order to do that I need a path this will be my profile here and I'll need a path to run this profile around the whole building in order to do that I'll use a rectangle tool drag that across and I should have gotten a face but apparently it's not liking me now let's go over to this one draw a rectangle here okay got that so I'm gonna steal this one from here I don't know why that one's not working but we'll just grab this one instead I'm just gonna copy it over here and drop it on there so there's my uh, path which is that face I could pick all the edges here as well uh, I will then select the follow me tool which is that guy there and then pick this profile and I have a roof again I'm going to re reverse those faces because I'm not crazy about that they're still here but I'm going to leave that alone so this relationship then as, as with the gable is correct uh, I export SketchUp drawings quite a bit to AutoCAD. You can only do that in the Pro version, but uh, I still think it's right to get it correct. This way, you know that what you've drawn is is what it actually is. If you want to export, say, elevations to either AutoCAD or even layout, you can do so by setting up your camera tool to parallel projection. And let's see if I can get the proper face. There we go. I'm picking these little houses up here to get the elevation that I want. Uh, to get a pure flat drawing like that, you have to have the camera tool on parallel projection. And you also have standard views, which is in the same camera tool or menu. And you can pick from here or you can pick these little houses. They're the same thing. This, if I export this to CAD or I export this to layout, I know it's correct. I don't have to worry about, you know, manipulating this. I don't have to worry about the relationships here. So that's it. Um, that technique, I think, works very nicely. The, the key here is getting the roof rafters in the proper location, constructed right, and you'll know you have it right. Uh, that's about it.
Thanks for watching and uh, keep an eye open for more videos uh, both on YouTube and on my website, SketchupAcademy.com. Thanks and have a great day.